technology developed here in the Bay Area could revolutionize personal transportation. Scientists at Lawrence Livermore Lab are experimenting with a common metal that shows great promise. The zinc is in the form of pellets. Researcher John Cooper is holding what he believes could be the future of transportation. It's a power source for a refuelable electric vehicle that can be used 24-7 if you wish. The metallic pellets are zinc. Cooper spent decades at the Lawrence Livermore lab developing a fuel cell battery that uses the common metal to generate electricity. It's low cost, it's non-toxic, and as a natural resource it is essentially inexhaustible. There's enough uh, zinc distributed around the world to convert most of the uh, world's cars to electric. Unlike the batteries in hybrid vehicles such as the Toyota Prius, the zinc air fuel cell as it's known is designed to be refilled like a gas tank. When the pellets are placed in the cell, they trigger a chemical reaction. Electrons migrate from one side to the other creating a charge as shown in this animation provided by the company. After a few weeks, the battery is drained and refilled and the zinc recycled. It's like an environmentalist dream. This month, the Montana company announced plans to take the zinc battery to the commercial market. Vice President Craig Wilkins believes a system for low-power delivery vehicles could be developed in a few years. I think the, the intent here is to scale the battery um, so that we can utilize it in those light fleet vehicles. He says another strategy would pair the zinc-fueled cell with metal batteries used in today's electric cars. Those batteries are more powerful and provide better acceleration, but take hours to recharge. In a two-battery system, the driver could fill up with zinc in about 10 minutes, allowing one battery to keep the other charged. I could have an existing electric car, but if I wanted to be able to drive from San Francisco to Los Angeles or across country, the ability to use a fuel cell as, the, uh, as a way to extend the range of that electric vehicle could come in very quickly. And if the vehicles do become reality, the battery's inventor expects the non-polluting zinc to cost about half as much as gasoline. That would propel the car at about four cents per mile. Now, several other batteries are also in development using materials such as lithium. Cooper, though, says many of those materials are mined overseas, whereas the U.S. has abundant supplies of zinc here at home.